Chris Ockenvall. Mr Speaker, thank you very much. I was going to say what a pleasure it is to follow uh, Barbara Stewart, as always, but I'm finding that a little bit difficult because I'm sure she didn't mean her yeah. last remark when she said New Zealand First will not support young people entering the workforce. Did you hear her say that? You, uh, Mr Keaton heard you say that. I'm sure she didn't mean that. But in effect, that is what her speech said. She said throughout the speech, we would prefer people to be staying on welfare, on the dole, sitting, waiting for a job. L young people love to work. That's what they want. But what did we hear? No, we will not support this new opportunity which is being put forward for a brighter future by the National Party. We will not make it easier for employers who are doing their level best to employ people just to make it that scary easier for them. No, we will not support this, said New Zealand First. And I'm astonished, I'm astonished. The Greens said it too. I would have thought they'd be very pleased uh, to be involved in this, give us a bit of backing. No, it's preferable that they stay out of work, was the message we got. That's the message we got. You can have it. You, would, you like some of, would you like some of my speaking time to correct your statement? I'll, I'll sit down and let you, you... You don't want to do that. All right. Perhaps a future speaker from New Zealand First will withdraw the remark and correct it. Because I'm rising to speak on the minimum wage, the start-up wage amendment bill, in the name of the Minister of Labour, the Honourable Simon Bridges, who is providing such inspirational leadership in this issue, Mr Speaker. It's uh, great to see. Because this bill deals, seeks to deal with what's an assuredly an important issue. And an, an issue so important that Sir William Sear decided to bring it up during his speech on plumbers, gas fitters and drain layers, a speech which should have been on ensuring the best practices of an industry which is vital to the safety of our homes. No, Sir William Seo decided to bring up the issue of employment and getting people into jobs, and I thank him for the opportunity, because you see that's exactly what this bill is about. He said, what are you doing about jobs? So now we're able to respond to him. It's about ensuring starting out workers can get their foot in the employment door. Low wage is surely better than no wage. It's indeed better than people, young people having to languish on the, on the welfare. And we certainly, I haven't heard the phrase dole bludger from this side of the house. Have you heard the phrase? Have you heard that phrase? Have you heard it from the other side of the house? Yes. That's what we heard this afternoon. We heard it from Barbara Stewart. So not only are they dull bludgers, but they're not allowed to work because New Zealand First is not prepared to put, see people on start-out wages. The incentives employers take uh, to take a chance on younger workers and the, in, incentivizes these young people to seek out work or training or both. Dave Bennett made the very good point. It's no, you cannot just be dependent on muscle for job security now. You really can't. You do need training. However, we do have the system coming forward. I would like to talk about it at greater length, but I think, Mr Speaker, we need to give the other side of the House the opportunity to correct their mistaken approach to this bill, and let's see if they don't just swing around in support of it. I commend the bill to the House. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Phil Twyford. Well, um, we took the mickey out.